Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. So today I'm going to fish a pond and I've actually got to do a little bit of walking today so I'm just going to test how well this works uh, with the strap and with all the other kit that I've got down here. Um, obviously I'll be going downhill but uh, let's uh, put this on and see what happens. Okay well so far so good. Okay. Right, I'll be getting down that hill, probably about 100 metres or so, um, which is fine because it's on the way down, it's just coming back up that's going to be an issue because that uh, certainly puts your heart rate up. Anyway, I'll just uh, make my way down there and we'll get fishing. I'm down here and I'm all set up. Um, certainly the walk down with the box on my back wasn't too bad at all, pretty comfortable. Um, I'm just worried about the going back up again because uh, that's going to be a bit of a, a difficult one. Anyway, um, I'm all set up and you can probably see the pole out behind me but let me just show you what I've got uh, set up now. So there we are, the box is set up in the grass. A uh, little bit different to what I'm used to with setting up uh, the six legs as I've mentioned in the past but um, again not a difficult thing and what did surprise me was that uh, I hadn't put the middle two uh, legs down i.e. The, the front of the box and I was sitting on the thing without them on the floor so <laughs> if my over 200 pounds can uh, be taken by that it's uh, obviously been built to last. Um, got all the usual um, things set up but you'll notice I've got the the pole support bar out and that rear strap if I just zoom in a little bit for you there's the strap pole support bar and out to the pole there um, maybe a little bit of fine tuning just to get the thing a little bit lower to the water but I'll do that in a second mentioned before I've got the little hook for the landing net now which you can see there but today I've also got this thing which if I try and get down through this grass <coughs> I made that yesterday um, it's a, a sort of a semi pole roost and it just slots into the uh, side of the the tray there again as you see not quite sure yet it's a bit of an experiment but we'll see how we go um, it certainly keeps everything out of the way um, pretty happy with it but I may actually move it so it's a little bit further forward than that and give it a bit more bit of articulation down on the um, the point where it goes into the uh, side tray but yeah all in all that's not bad only thing now is let's see if we can catch a few fish we've actually had rain for the last uh, two days pretty solid and the water levels come up quite a lot but color looks okay not seeing much uh, moving around but hmm I'm going to fish at 11 meters first of all, um, see how that goes and then I'm going to come down into the margins here on the right to those uh, sort of, I don't know what they are, some sort of yucca type thing, maybe not. Um, and then I'll also come down and I'll fish just uh, probably about 11 to 13 meters along there. There's a bit of a, a reed sticking out which is there, hopefully you can see that. But the only thing that remains now is to uh, get some bait on and start fishing. Okay, so here's the rig. Uh, float is 0.4 of a gram. It's got a, a wire stem and a cane tip. Um, I've actually put in a, a black tip for the moment, uh, but depending on how the conditions go, that may change later. Uh, I've got number eights going down the line and I've got most of them in the last sort of third or so down here kind of a semi bulk I suppose but I'm not going to catch anything on the drop today so I might as well just get the bait down there I've actually got a telltale shot just um, a couple of inches above the, the hook so that that will indicate uh, lift bites if I get any of those and just like with crucians the goldfish in here do seem to uh, give you those little tentative lift bites hook is a size 14 B711 
Um, being a B711, that's probably a 13 because they're odd numbers, but um, anyway, it gives you the idea. So, bait wise, I've got um, luncheon meat in 8mm, in 6mm, and some uh, sweet corn. Not going to use ground bait today, and I'm going to feed through the pole cup here. I'm going to feed very gently to start with. Just going to put just a few bits of bait out there. Like that. And let's hope we start to catch fairly soon. Hook bait is a um, 8mm size piece of meat, luncheon meat. And I'm going to try that here today because I've never tried meat in this particular venue. This is Den's Pond for those of you that fish it, sorry, for those of you that watch my uh, videos regularly. Just put it all out there at 11 metres. And all being well, within sort of 30, 40 minutes or so, maybe sooner, we should get a bite. Right. That was quick. First time I fished lunch and meat here. First bite within, well, it's actually, I think it was the second cast. And that's only within about five minutes. Well, pleased with that. No, I'm not. It's a flipping eel. Ah, I was warned about those. <laughs> oh no. God, I hate eels. Horrible things. Okay, let's see if we can get a... Ah. Disgorger on it. Let's see if that'll do it, because I am not touching it, because it's slimy as all get out and horrible. I broke it off anyway. Well, that wasn't so good. <laughs> Ugh, yuck. Let's put him back. May not be using lunch and meat too much in here in the future if that's going to be the way it is. Ah, oh, well, no hook length. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, I've put a new hook length on and I'm going to try meat again. I might as well. Give it a proper try. I'm here today, it's just a pleasure session. But if I lose too many hooks because they swallow it, I'm going to have to start using sweet corn again, which is my go to bait beer anyway, but this is worth a go. Been going for about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes now, and uh, had that one eel as you saw. I uh, had a couple of other tentative sort of indications on the float but nothing too much and it very often does take 30-40 minutes or so to uh, to turn on here so really I'm hoping that we're going to get something any time now really. Still it's a nice day though isn't it? You can't argue with it after all that rain we've had. Um, yeah a little bit of sunshine, not too cold There's not much doing on the luncheon meat, so I'm just going to bring it in, I think, and uh, have a bit of a go with uh, a piece of sweet corn. That usually produces. If that doesn't, then it's either me being a rubbish angler, which is entirely possible, or um, the rain's put them off. As I say, we have had rain for two days pretty much solidly, so I wouldn't be at all surprised because there's a, an inlet over there um, which drains all of the the water from the estate off the roads and, and everywhere and it's uh, obviously got all sorts of muck in it, bits of salt and probably oil and tyres and contaminants and so on so not really surprising that the fish go off the feed after a couple of days but always a good excuse to have. Anyway, let's get back out there and uh, give the corn a bit of a go.
<laughs> that hadn't been in there for more than a few seconds, uh, the float went under. So, one nil to the, the sweet corn, eh? It's worth trying all these different baits, you never know, do you? Feels like it's pulling back a little bit. I don't think it's huge, but it's a nice fish, I think. Just hope it's not an eel. <laughs> I've actually caught eels on sweet corn before, but not very often. I don't think this is an eel. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's definitely a carp. Yeah, carp. Whew. It's getting a bit worried then. Been about an hour and I hadn't actually caught anything, which is pretty unusual for this place. Come on fish, you can give up now. Thank you. There we go. That's a decent fish. Well, it is for this place anyway. Yeah, nice one. And it's actually slightly swallowed it. Should be able to get that out of my finger, I think. Mm, yeah, there we go. Well, that'll do. Okay, go back out there. Another piece of sweet corn. I'm just going to put a little bit of corn in there. And just a tiny piece of meat. You never know, they might come on that later on. I've got it with me, so I might as well give it a go. Well, that one certainly took off, didn't it? Still going. Hmm. Seems like a reasonable fish. That was on two bits of sweet corn. Doesn't want to give up, does he? This time, fish? Not yet. This time. Yeah, okay. Again, decent enough fish. And again, he kind of swallowed it, but not quite. Sort of just on the inside of his mouth, but barbless hooks are no worries. Yep, cool.
Well, <laughs> that one came towards me straight away. It's back to two bits of sweet corn, and uh, what I've done is I just put two or three pots of uh, corn in the same spot, literally a really tight place, and then fished about a meter off it, and that's where I just had this bite. Sometimes that works. Of course, sometimes it doesn't. But when it does, you catch fish like this, which is fine by me. Come on, fish. It's not as big as the other ones, but lovely condition. Whoa! <laughs> And the hook pulled out of it just as I was uh, putting him in the net. Well, he'll do though, won't he? <laughs> well, that's it for another one then, folks. I came down here to test out the new DIY fishing tackle seat box with the pole support arm, do a bit of pole fishing. How did I go? Well, I had a few fish. It's been a nice day. But the purpose of the exercise, as I say, was to test the box. And I'd have to say, it's really lived up to expectations. What did surprise me was when I'd forgotten to put the middle legs down and sat down on it and it didn't flinch. So it's obviously quite robust, um, but obviously only time's gonna tell. So we've done the river one and now we've done the pole one. So next time we'll go to a different venue and I'll see if I can do a waggler uh, and a feeder one, I think. Let's, let's see how that goes. So, as always, hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. And the only thing I'm not going to enjoy, of course, is getting up that hill up there behind me, because that's not going to be much fun. You see it? My car's at the very top there somewhere, and I'm getting old. Anyway, what the hell. That's it then. I hope you enjoyed it, as I say. If you did, click the button. If you want to subscribe, you can do that too. And until the next time, bye for now.